Hi, my name's Tom. I teach 8th grade social studies at Morley Stanwood Middle School. Hey, and I'm Andrea, and I teach 8th grade math. And I'm Jessica, and I teach 8th grade English. We wanted to talk to you today about formative assessment. We are three of the members of the Morley Stanwood Middle School formative assessment team, and we think formative assessment is awesome. Not only is it awesome, <laughs> but it helps to improve your teaching strategies. Um, for example, myself, I have improve my instruction in class by uh, focusing more on the goal of the lesson, or as a formative assessment would call it, a learning target. Formative assessment has helped me um, keep more of my, my uh, focus on what the students are actually learning rather than what I think I'm teaching. And it's been very helpful to show me ways in which I can get feedback from my students and, and adjust what I'm doing. I really have enjoyed the challenge of trying things in a new way. And I think when you talk about challenge, anybody who's worked with a teenager or a middle schooler knows that buying into the lesson is probably one of the most difficult things to do with middle school students. And I feel like formative assessment has helped me because the, the kids are making their own goals um, for several things. They, they're, they're buying into it so much more because they're taking ownership in uh, my name is Michelle, and I'm a sixth grade teacher at Morley Stale Middle School. I'm Kelly, I am a related arts teacher, so I teach fifth through eighth grade Spanish here at Morley Stale Middle School. And we're going to talk to you today about why we feel the formative assessment process is good. Um, <laughs> for me, the three things I'd like to address are one, how I use the formative assessment process, and also the best part of being the best aspect of being part of our formative assessment team, and then how formative assessment is a powerful tool for administrators to consider. Um, currently, I try to just choose one aspect of formative assessment so it's not so overwhelming as I'm a novice beginning, and I've tried to work at pacing my classroom appropriately, the learning targets for the students, and it's been a pretty powerful tool just using things like ticket out the door, different assessment projects with students and realizing that their pace was much different than the teaching pace I had been using. I think I found it um, very beneficial to my teaching because it allows me to, um, it's given me the power to realize that choice is really important when it comes to middle school learners and um, being able to not maybe stay on the same page when it comes to different classes um, and letting the kids kind of drive the instruction um, and then using different strategies of formative assessment I've been able to do that a little bit more and uh, letting them know what the overall goal of the unit is and whether it takes different roads to get us there that's okay as long as you know we, we still get to the same place. Um, I think it helped too with kind of uh, keeping me in check of what I think I'm teaching and what the kids are actually learning and um, help me bring those two things, merge those two things together better. My name is Susan Muller. I teach third grade at Morley Elementary and I am in my 19th year of education. I'm Dawn Patrikas. I also teach at Morley Elementary, third and fourth grade this year and this is my 16th year of teaching. I think one of the biggest differences with formative assessment for me has been the shift in how I think about starting my lessons. Um, when I'm doing my lesson plans, I'm looking at the end first and then backing up from the there. moment has been the results that I see on summative assessments with my students. I see formative assessment has helped me with thinking about the I can statements. My students enjoy seeing the little I can statements posted in the room and it really gets them, gives them a direction on where we're going with their the positive change that I've been seeing with just myself is through the assessment parts of it. I like to um, go over their uh, assessments and it's just been really powerful this year as I don't just leave it at that as I have in the past, just moved on to something else, but I really tried to go back, reteach with students, and really get them to be more of a, a mastery of, of that topic. I know what 
the kids are supposed to be learning and I write the I can statements, when you're teaching your lessons, those things are in your head and you are focusing on those. Even when the kids are discussing things and I'm walking around the room, you tend to focus in on those instead of other areas of the textbook that it's a textbook and not necessarily what the focus is for I think one of the advantages of being part of the formative assessment team is getting to share ideas with other teachers learning different strategies and techniques that you guys have used in your class and that have worked and that I've used in my class that that has worked and being able to share those um, pros and cons of it so it's nice to get other feedback other other teachers feedback on that and as a newer teacher, I, I feel really good about being a part of a team of not just educators who are really good at what they do, but people who want to help other people. I think the, the team aspect of our formative assessment team is amazing and very supportive. For me, it helps to just have those regular meetings where you're constantly reminded of things that you might put off or, and then you forget about but it's bringing it back every time that we have a meeting that has helped me. And I'm still growing in this for sure, but it does give me a nice supportive atmosphere where um, I can get motivated to, to be a better teacher. As far as being a part of the formative assessment team, I find it one of the best decisions I've made as a teacher because it really helps you stay refreshed it's great to be a part of a community of people who choose to be together. Um, it's a positive group of educators, a supportive group, and we all happen to be from a different subject area, so it it's exciting to look at learning and teaching through the lens of a different, a different thinker and that how that can be helpful in your own subject area too. So I always leave wanting more, feeling refreshed, and feeling like I have a specific way to improve my teaching that will directly, hopefully, positively affect my student learners. I agree. I think um, being on the team, this is my second year on the team, and the team this year has gotten bigger, and it's just our middle school student, or our middle school staff makes up one team, and, and I think that's important because you get to know your coworkers a little bit better on such a positive level. And I always walk away kind of inspired to try new things or listen to what other people have tried and implement those things into my classroom. Um, as well as, you know, kind of get a little pat on the back of, hey, that's great, and uh, get that it's kind of It's been great being part of the formative assessment team. It really is, it gives us a chance to be collaborative, it gives us a chance to talk with one another, where sometimes we don't get that chance to see how practices are going in the classroom and just to celebrate some successes. and. Talk about what can we can change. When Don mentioned <clears throat> talking, it sounds kind of maybe silly, but seriously, when we start having conversations during a meeting, and we may <clears throat> tend to get off track a little bit, we do find though that we're having these amazing discussions about what we're doing in our classroom, and somebody else might chime in and tell us that they see the same thing, so we can figure out how to change something, or if it's a good thing, how to elaborate on that and use it to our advantage. But also it can take us in another direction that we want to um, look into a little bit more or you know bring up into the next um, to, into the next meeting. I like the accountability. When I'm part of a team, I don't want to let the other team members down. So when we're meeting on a monthly basis, I want to be able to go back, try something, use it, and I want to be able to come back and tell them that it worked really well. <laughs> I don't mind telling them I tried something and it didn't work but that I then took the time to tweak it, change it, and make it work the next time I tried it. In closing, I would say formative assessment, or the whole concept, really changes how you teach, how you're planning your lessons, and ultimately, how you're staying on top of where your students are at, and going back and picking up the students that you lose along the way. One thing as an administrator, through their lens, I would say that um, it formative assessment is a very powerful professional development tool in the aspect that we're always looking at what truly is best for the student and I think it we've heard why it is positive for the student but it's it just goes again to show that our best resources are right within our own building so it's a very cost-effective
professional development tool. I think it's powerful and beneficial because, like Kelly said, you have so many resources within your own building. And the formative assessment process, there's so much to it. So, and you could easily feel overwhelmed, um, but you've got so much to choose from, and that's exactly what it is, your choice of what you're going to implement. And I think it's powerful because then everybody, the kids are the ones that are driving the instruction. They're the ones that are being active, you know, participants in their education. Um, I just think that, you know, it's going to be, this is the future. So I guess in summary, I would definitely recommend becoming part of a formative assessment team member. I was somewhat apprehensive, didn't know what it was all about when I first signed up two years ago. It has helped me grow as an instructor, as a teacher, uh, being able to assess students before you give them a grade, um, checking to see how they believe that they're doing, kind of what Andrea said, that it focuses more on what the teacher or the, what the students are learning, how they feel they're learning, rather than what we think they're teaching.